Welcome and welcome back to my channel. How are you? I hope you all are doing good. The weather here has varied in one day or even one hour, from sunny, cloudy to pouring. There was even thunder yesterday afternoon. You might know me as a watercolor artist and art educator. But do you know that my major in college was actually oil painting? And I am a surface textile designer for fashion, home textile, and different products. So how did I start to paint with watercolor? It all began in 2020. I got selected as a brand ambassador of our philosophy in June 2020. Since then, I started painting with watercolor more for not only my designs, but also my original passion in art. Today's sponsor is our philosophy. Thank you so much for sending these watercolor products. If you would like to try them out, you can find my discount code in the description. When I started working as a textile designer, I only saw watercolor as one of my tools to create motif. I just used whatever watercolor paints and brushes that I had at home. It worked just fine for my designs because I scan them and modify colors in Photoshop. Finally, you can see my design turned out to be different products, including scarf, mug, bags, and coffee package. However, when it came to painting my own subjects with background, such as flowers and landscapes, Something was not right. I either did not control the water well or used the wrong colors. You can see a lot of mistakes in those early paintings. That's why I started practicing more in order to improve my watercolor skills. Including trying out different brands of watercolor paper in order to find which one works better for me. How can I start to paint with watercolors? I have been asked about this question a lot. Hmm, it actually took me a while to answer. It's not easy to use a few sentences to explain. The shortest answer that I can give you is to enjoy the process and keep practicing. If you don't enjoy the process including both good and bad results, you will not be able to achieve your goal and bring joy to you. Today, let's do some fun exercise to get to know watercolors. The most important thing is to get comfortable with this art medium. First, let's have the art supplies ready for watercolor painting, including water, rag, brushes, paper, and pens. You can pause here to get your materials ready and then join me. 
Let's play with water and paints. It's just like how to know new friends. You talk to them, spend time with them, and observe their characters. Then you will find out what they like or dislike. Finally, you will learn how to get along with them by paying attention. Painting with watercolor can be tricky, challenging, or frustrating sometimes if you don't know their attributes. Transparency. Watercolors allow light to pass through the paint and create a luminous effect. This characteristic enables artists to layer colors to create depth and subtle color variations. This technique is called glazing. That can not only enhance the sense of light and shadow, but also render moons and atmospheres such as mist, fog, or the delicate blending of colors in a sunset. Flow and fluidity. The water-based nature of watercolors allows for smooth and flowing brush strokes from sharp lines to soft washes, depending on varying the amount of water and pigment. This fluid nature of watercolors provides artists the chance to explore and let go for organic effects. Quick drying time. Watercolors dry relatively quicker. That can be advantageous or not for artists. You just need to practice more in order to apply the right amount of water to create certain effects. For the big area of wash, you can add a synthetic Oscar median to extend the drying time. I did an experiment comparing with and without adding synthetic Oscar in the water. If you are interested in knowing how I did it and what the results are, you can head to another video. This tip is very helpful when you create soft dreaming background such as bokeh effect background for your painting. Color mixing. Watercolors mix easily on both the palette and directly the paper, allowing for a wide range of hues and tonal variations. When you mix or layer watercolor pigments, they are still vibrant and sometimes create unexpected color combinations. Applying wet on wet technique onto paper can flow and merge colors in soft rains that is perfect for sky, clouds, and water effects. On the other hand, applying wet paint onto dry paints can give artists more control and create more precise edges and lines. Edge control we can achieve both hard and soft edges by controlling the wetness of the paper and brush. Wet on wet techniques create soft edges while painting on dry paper produce sharp lines. Another way that you can reduce sharp lines is lifting colors technique. Once you get to know how much water to apply for lifting colors, Fixing sharp edges is not difficult. These attributes make watercolors a unique and expressive medium, offering endless possibilities for creating inspiration. You can use watercolors to create your painting, 
textile design or illustration. Plus, watercolors require minimal equipment, so you don't need a big space to begin with and can do it anywhere, including traveling. I hope that you can feel more comfortable with watercolors after this video and start your watercolor painting journey. In the beginning, you can just play with colors or paint something that you are interested in without any expectation. Having a connection with your art supplies is the foundation of painting. Please remember, the key points are Be free Have no fear Do not afraid of being imperfect Enjoying the process Observe the process Bring joy And want to paint more Enjoying the process everyone if you have more questions or suggestions for my next video, please leave me a comment. Hold on, wait. Before you go, please drop me a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Until next time, happy painting!